Ms. Brooke, my mom said I finished three-fourths of my homework. What does that even mean? Ah, uh, you've just set us up for a fun lesson, Justin. We're talking all about fractions, decimals, and percentages, and how they're all connected. Imagine this pizza is cut into four equal slices. If you eat three slices, you've eaten three out of four parts. That's called a fraction, written as three quarters. Oh, so the top number tells how many slices I ate, and the bottom shows how many slices there were in total? Exactly. The top is the numerator, and the bottom is the denominator. But what about numbers like 0 0.75? That's not a fraction. It actually is. 0 0.75 is the decimal form of 3 quarters. Decimals are just another way to show parts of a whole. And now, meet the third friend, percentages. Percent means, out of 100. So 3 quarters equals 0 0.75 equals 75 percent? You got it. They're all different ways to show the same part of something. I'll make it easy for you to understand. Let's say we have a class of 20 students. Now, imagine 15 of them are girls and the rest are boys. If we show this on a pie chart, we'll see that 15 out of 20 students are girls. 15 out of 20 is the same as 3 out of 4, which we write as a fraction, 3 quarters. And when we turn that into a decimal, it's 0 0.75, and as a percentage, that's 75%. We use fractions, decimals, and percentages every day, in school, shopping, even snacks. Math is literally everywhere. Let's do a quick recap. Fraction equals part of a whole, like 3 quarters. Decimal equals number form, like 0 0.75. Percentage equals out of 100, like 75%. There are just three ways to say the same thing. Did you know? Percent comes from Latin. It means, by the hundred. For more fun learning adventures, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Curio Club Chronicles. That was a fun ride with Curio Club Chronicles. If you liked it, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more adventures. Stay curious, stay kind, and keep imagining. See you next time.